Hi right, guys, so I was just uh, wanting to show you a little bit right now of, you know, right, I'm, I'm plugged in and uh, and I'm charging. So even though it's at 100% as far as the battery is listed, um, it's still accepting about 6 kilowatts of charge. Now something I wanted to point out, and it will be a little difficult to do when driving, um, but I, I think... I think you'll 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 notice it as well. So right now I wanted to show you this little white bar, the thin one. Right now that's your max regeneration. So a lot of people have talked about how, you know, there's no regeneration when the battery is full. It's not technically correct. Um you can see right now uh just based on where the inflow into the battery is, it's listed at 5 kilowatts. And it's not quite to that bar. So that's telling me that your max regen right now is somewhere between uh, probably 5 and 10 kilowatts at this point. Now, I, I, I'm assuming a, as the battery tops off, as they call it, like much closer to the, the maximum percentage, it will allow you to charge that that line will scoot up a little bit. Um, but for the most part, what you'll see is as you use energy, and you'll, you'll notice the bar is fluctuating up now. As you use energy, that bar will go farther and farther down until it finally disappears. And what that means is max regen. And, um, and what I've noticed too, are there are two stages of max regen. And it, it seems to vary on a number of factors. And one of those factors is, um, you know, whether you're, you're in low or drive, and I've noticed using the regen on demand paddle behind the, uh, you know, behind the uh, steering wheel here, that if you're in drive, your max regen is 65 kilowatts, no, no matter what your uh, battery state of charge is. And in low, it's 70 kilowatts. Now, what I've noticed is this line that indicates your max regeneration it seems to disappear at different levels. So one day it disappeared at 3.5 kilowatt hours of energy used. The next day it, it disappeared, it didn't disappear until four kilowatt hours of energy used. Now the only, the only thing I can think of that would account for that difference is the, um, maybe the outside temperature, maybe the battery temperature, maybe battery conditioning. So, um, but otherwise, you still have, even at full, you still have a little bit of uh, regeneration available, and it's not going to be much, and compared to the 30 or 40 kilowatts of regenerative energy, or even 50 or 60 or 70, that you're used to maybe when the battery's at a lower state of charge, it can be a bit disconcerting, um, but it's still there right? It's just not as significant maybe as you're used to. So uh, it's just something to keep in mind. So when your battery is full topped off, you're going to be limited probably now looking at it as maybe five to six kilowatts of max regenerative power. The, the line is sort of scooted up a little bit. So that's not going to slow this car down very much at all. So just keep that in mind that, you know, you're going to you're going to coast a lot more than you'd expect to just trying one pedal driving and letting off of the, uh, letting off of the accelerator. So yeah, I just wanted to give a, a quick little, um, explanation of that feature. So you'll see it when you're driving. If you don't see that line at all, it means you have max region. And if you do see it, just kind of note where it is, how close it is to that middle thick white bar. And that will tell you how much region you have available. So, all right, guys.